What's up, everybody? What's going on? It's your favorite driver, VMAC, FATL Transportation, with another episode of the Royal Experience. Today we have the one, the only, the queen herself. She is a new, she's now an author. My sister, Latanya Life. Welcome to the Royal Experience, Latanya. Hi, Hi, <laughs> Hey y'all! Oh gosh, Darren, it feels so good. You're driving. I never have to be nervous when I'm in the car, especially when you get older. You know, you you clutch on to stuff like. Wait a minute! Oh, I never yeah. have to do that with Darren. That's what we offer with the ATL tra Transportation. So tell us, yes. um, tell us what you got going on. You, you wrote a book, and uh, tell us the name of it and what, and what it's about. Yes. Yeah, so Darren, my book, God's Unfailing Love. Mm -hmm. Um. It is about God's unfailing love. And I want people to know that God loves them no matter what. Because so many people has been bounded by what others say, what others think. And, and matter of fact, I'm going to roll it back. Um, years ago, I wrote this book 18 years ago. And that's why I tell people, I don't care how old you are. If you have started something, finished. Well, Darren, what happened was I had got sick and mm -hmm. I needed to go in for surgery. And at that time I was going, going, going. And I kept hearing he, the Holy Spirit, speaking to me, saying, write a book. And I was trying to ignore it. Like for years I was ignoring. I was like, a book? Mm -hmm. Me? Write a book? There's mm -hmm. no book in me. <laughs> so I guess God said, oh, yes, Lord, I'm going to show you there's a book in you. So I had a topic practice which I thought was gas. And mm -hmm. I told my husband, I said, Paul, something is wrong. I'm cramping really bad. I think I need to go to the hospital. Went to the hospital. They said, hey, Tanya, you are um, six to eight weeks pregnant. And my tubes was tied, Darren. Mm. Yes. Wow. So they took me into emergency surgery because they said it's either me or the baby. So one of us had to um, go. I mean, one of us would have went. So long story short, I went to the hospital. I had the emergency surgery. I was on bed rest. Um, for six to eight weeks mm -hmm. and that's when god started speaking to me oh, he said wow. write a book about my love to my people and i'm I'm like what wait a minute maybe i'm uh -uh, this this gotta be me mm -hmm. then i heard the voice again and it was so and, so, and it said i want you to write a book on my love to my people i want oh, you wow. to tell my people that i and then I went into myself again and I said, well, God, I don't have that. I don't have love like that in me. I mean, I love people, but I don't have like love, love, like they speak of God's love. And then when I heard him again say, it's not about you. I said, hmm, Darren, I went, I got a book, some, um, a pen, mm -hmm. and I just began to write. I wrote all while I was in that bed, just writing, writing. And then I said, God, well, I don't know the Bible that good. Mm -hmm. So the scriptures, you're telling me to add scriptures? Mm -hmm. And then he says, study love. Mm -hmm. So I began to go to, to the Bible and I had I had got wrote down all the scriptures that was talking about love. Okay. Yes. Wow. And that's, that's something special. Yeah. So to write a book, what? Okay, we, we I, I understand that it was God driven, but when you write a book, like you never got like uh, writer's block or anything like that. It, it was flowing so freely yes. with the voice of God. Yes, yes, yes. He would wake me up in the middle of the night, and I say, "Okay, God, let me get my pen." <laughs> mm -hmm. So I would be writing in the middle of the night when everybody was asleep, just be writing, wow. and it couldn't be me because. I didn't know to write all that stuff. Mm. He said, tell my people that I love them. And this was 18, well, now I'm like 19 years ago. And so it came out perfect. And I was beating up on myself like, oh, you know, I'm not going to put that book out for kidding. That's some God gave you to do. So how are you going to renege on what God tell you to do? Because mm. you know how you go through so much emotion, taking care of family, and you just put everything on the back burner. Mm. But Darren... I had to get this book out. And then it and then I thought, man, it's been late. But it was great for such a time as this, because we in the worst times ever. Yes. Pandemic. And people need to know that God loves them. Amen. So if say for instance, if I wanted to write a book, 
-hmm. What steps would I need to do to start writing to get it edited, published? Like, mm -hmm. what what's the procedures? What's a, what's a procedures for getting a book on the market? Okay, so if you have a book in mind, I tell people you need to just write. Mm -hmm. write whatever's coming out of you just write write do not worry about critiquing it do not worry about words been been spelled right don't worry about periods commas and all of that just write mm -hmm. write mm -hmm. i mean i don't care if you write backwards because <laughs> <laughs> and i'm telling the truth because that's when you go into your your um editor mm -hmm. okay you're gonna get a publicist um your editor and mm -hmm. they go over all of that Darren. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you didn't wrote back, what's forwards, out of place. They will figure out, um, was it summertime? They'll put in there, it was wintertime. And you'll be like, wait a minute, how did they know that? But they know it. So you're going to start off with a publis publishes, I mean, a publisher and an editor. Mm -hmm. And they'll put all the pieces together. So don't think about, oh, I got to get this right. I got to have this perfect. I got to write it perfect. Because that's what they do. Yes. Gotcha. And my girl, Just Janae, mm -hmm. book plug, she is amazing. So All it's right. Jay the book plug. She is amazing. Um, and some editors and publishers, um, Darren, you can get it where you can talk mm -hmm. on a tape recorder okay. and you can talk it and she'll put it together for you. She'll put the book together for you. Okay. So just do it. If it's on your heart to write a book, I'm telling you, it will bless others. You may not see it, but people are waiting on you to write that book right so in inspiring words to any kids out there that's looking to write and they may have someone saying hey, ain't nobody gonna read that book what would you tell them oh they gonna read the book <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead write that book think positive at all times of course keep god first let him lead you and write babies write because I feel that it's a book in all of us. Some of us just can't articulate, you know, um, what we're trying to say. But mm -hmm. when it comes to your mind, just start writing. Keep a pad on you, a pencil on a pad or a pen, whatever you're comfortable with. But just keep it on you. If you want to write, I say just write and don't stop. Be consistent. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if you wrote all, because I know over the years, I was adding on as well. So just write. I'm telling you, you can do it. I know you can do it. If you want to write a book, it's nothing to it but to do it. You just, write. just keep on writing. And then you're going to get a publisher and an editor. And they'll take care of everything. They'll structure it. They'll put it in order. Um, they'll put, um, if you have different chapters, they know how to break that down. So a publisher and an editor. There we go, you guys. They even get you on Amazon. They do different um, sites so you can sell your book on. So you don't have to worry about that. If that's in the contract, so read that contract and make sure you guys read that small print as well. All right. So how can we get a copy of your book? So you can go to Amazon.com. It is on Amazon and Kindle, you guys. And it is called God's Unfailing Love. And he is telling you about no matter what you've been through, no matter what you have done, God loves you with an unfailing love, unconditional love. Darren, it don't get no better than that. Amen. I got you. Yes. And he <laughs> won't judge you. So you are forgiven. Go to God. Man will let you down, but God will never let you down. He would never fail you. And he loves you with an unfailing love. And I know that this book will bless everyone there because they need to know nobody is perfect. God loves you, 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 and you. That's and my Darren, sister. He really loves you. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are so loved. You and my you. sister, Jade. Like, I love y'all. And I pray that blessings continue to overshadow y'all life. Thank you. And bring great people into y'all life that will pour into you. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. How can we reach you on social media? So, on my social media, you can go to my Instagram page, Let's Get Personal Atlanta. And we have a link tree. You just press on that link tree and it'll, we have a bio and it'll tell you all the areas you can go to reach us. Also, YouTube is Let's Get Personal with Latanya and Ray. I love you guys so much. Like I said, you, 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 and you, you can do it. And thank you so 
much, Taryn. This was.